Welcome to Freedom Elementary's Black Light Art Show. And this year it's under the sea theme. And this is how we enter our classroom through the shark's mouth. This is done in fluorescent paint. Everything from the show was made by students in grades kindergarten through fifth grade. Every wall of the classroom was filled with artwork. I'm giving you a span of the room and then I'll take you to the different sections. And then we're back over to the shark entrance right here. This is made with paper murals. And that's a styrofoam fish hanging on the wall, packing foam. We learned about corals and sponges and sea creatures and sea animals. And now I'm gonna walk around and show you close-ups of the walls. And then I'll do a close-up of the coral reef. That turtle's about three and a half feet, just to give you an idea. And same thing about this, it's about three and a half feet wide. There's some angelfish and also clownfish. Some fish are hanging from the ceiling and others are on the murals. A lot of kids, this area is the jellyfish area. And a lot of kids, their favorite part of the show was the jellyfish area right here. And um, today in class, I was able to talk with groups of kids coming through and we talked about what we liked the best. And we talked about museum etiquette as we viewed the show. Um, and the kids really enjoy um, something like this. The night of the show, we used 3D glasses and it makes the reds really pop off the wall and the pink colors pop. This is really cool here. These te gorgeous textures. And in my room, I have seven black lights hanging. There's this wall. And then here's a school of fish here. And then we've got some of these cool, these are, these were giant sponge murals that are on my doors. Like I have five closet doors here and 
They're covered with giant sponges and corals. And up coming next is the giant fan coral, which is beautiful. This was another favorite of the kids. Uh, giant fan coral with seahorses living in the protection of the fan coral. And the giant turtle, I believe, was done by a fifth grader. A couple fifth grade girls did that. And that fan coral was painted by many kids. I think I started with third grade. And then we've got all this texture at the bottom. And this little grouping of corals actually came out beautiful. Each is painted by a different child. All of the pieces, each section is done by different kids. And there's some pool noodles actually, with some texture on them. It's a little hard to see in the dark. And the crabs are adorable too. Crabs were another favorite of the kids. How the crabs came out. And I'll show you the wall where the crabs, and I think these are some type of an angel fish here. The next is groups of, is the mural that's down the side of my classroom. Um, this is where all my cabinets and counters and sinks are. There's actually two sinks, one on each end. And this is another favorite of the kids. The murals were painted uh, by different grade levels and then the fish were another class grade level and then I glued them, the fish just onto the top of the murals. And the murals were painted on black paper. This is really gorgeous with the layers of colors. We did a lot of sponging, patterning, uh, lots of texture. The corals, we did with lots of sponges and sponge rollers. That's beautiful right there. That's gorgeous, that grouping of sea turtles. And this is on black rolled paper, giant rolls of paper. And actually when the black lights are out, it almost looks like velvet. This is a beautiful area. Like I said, many art show viewers, this was one of their favorite sections. These are individual pieces and then they're placed onto the mural paper. So one kid painted that. Um, that blue thing in the background is actually a blue candelabra coral. And that was painted by one kid. And then this, the clownfish were painted by another. The purple coral here that you see behind the clownfish was painted, each section of that was painted by a different kid. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids making that. And then this was butcher paper, the big coral at the bottom, the curve, was butcher paper with paint um, with group murals. Group kids sponged that paper, the giant coral at the very bottom. And then the sea urchins were painted each individually by different kids. And just to give you the size, the sea urchins were done on 11 by, uh, I think 12 by 24 paper. I think that's the size, or 12 by 18. I think that's it, 12 by 18 paper. And so those sea urchins are pretty big size. The turtles are around an eight by 10 paper. The shapes came from AccuCut Company. I purchased, and so the kids decorated the shapes. And I opted for this this year so that uh, we didn't have to cut out so many fish and things once the projects were done. And then it gives unity to everything. The lessons were on specific fish types. Um, in some cases, or actually a lot of cases, most cases, um, for unity. Um, and then, of course, you get just the variety from the different kids that created them. These are beautiful. And this was done. This is the powder blue sturgeon fish here. And it looks like 
um, a kindergarten class did those. So you see different le different grade levels did each different fish, or actually, actually different classes. I did different species by species. So each class had a different species. This, this is coral texture, which came out really cool. I gave little odd shaped pieces to each kid and then they painted lots of little tiny dots to give that coral texture to the pictures. And the I end this wall with some seaweed. The seaweed hanging is painted by kindergarten and we painted paper plates and I rolled them into cones and then hung them on string. And that forms the um, seahorse land. I mean, not the seahorse, the turtles. These are sea turtles. And they, they get, they're they going to the, the little sea turtles are all coming to the seaweed for protection. And this is, let me back up a little bit. This is surrounding my desk area right here. And this is one of my favorites in here. Right behind here is, it just came out beautiful with it. I just like the coloring and I hope we can pick it up in this. It might be too dark. It's a uh, red coral with blue sponging on it. And I think it's a bit dark in here. This area came out a little bit too dark. And then the sea turtles, which were adorable. Let me see if I can, if I refocus it, I might be able to get it dark, brighter. Yeah, let's see. Some of these turtles were beautiful. That's a little bit dark. We're just in a corner here that's too, oh, I want this one. That's way too dark. Sorry about that. All right, I'll back up and get it. Sometimes the light refocuses. This is in a little corner behind my desk, so it's kind of sheltered from these lights. And then as I come around, let me show you down here. This came out really good too. This was, and surprisingly nobody mentioned this area as their favorite. I really like this area around my desk. I think because it's in a little bit of a shadow. It depends on the, how the black lights are hitting things. And then this, these little fishies here were done by fourth grade. A fourth grade class. And they're on some coral in schools. And that completes the wall area of my classroom. And now I'm gonna take you around to the center. And this is all centering around this giant reef in the center of my room. And this is Ollie, the giant red octopus. And we had kids from kindergarten till fifth grade create the actual structure. second grade plastered it and a fifth grade class finished the plaster and I think it was second and fifth that painted it I'll do some close-ups of the octopus so you can see how he came out This is some, uh, some of the kids' favorites are the coral that's made out of styrofoam. And then the sea urchins, styrofoam and barbecue skewers. And now I'm gonna walk around the coral reef. And the coral reef is all of my classroom tables in a row 
then several are stacked on top of each other, covered in black paper around the edges, and then fabric draped on the top. There's paper to toilet paper tubes, toilet tissue tubes, painted and then cut open to make sea anemones. Here's a fan coral made out of popsicle sticks. We also put in some real sea life here. I'll show you over here. There's a real sea star in some netting that is glowing. There's a, there's a giant sea urchin, it's a little hard to pick up with the light, and a, a real fan coral here as well. Let me pull back so you can see the side. Again, my shark doors coming in. Here's the back view. Oops. Those cone things on the table are seaweed, kind of representing seaweed and sea coral. The way the light's hitting, it's just beautiful. I'm standing in one of my corners of the room. I'm kind of showing you the... There it is there. Guests that come to the show walk down he, this aisle and around the center, and then they exit. Again, they have the 3D glasses on, so the red things really pop, and it it really makes uh, it interesting. And there are Crayola 3D sidewalk chalk glasses that I was able to purchase years ago. And we use, it seems to work the best. Movie glasses won't work with this stuff. These flowery things down at the bottom, to the right, are the coral polyps. It's all the little branchings. The dots represent little branches and arms. And then you have groups of coral down here. And again, each one of those little sections was made by different kids. I think eight or nine kids made that grouping right there alone. And then the large coral polyps over here were made as a group Third grade class group made these. The sea urchins really came out good. I had one class make giant sea urchins. And I really love the way they look. The effect of that is beautiful. And these look great against that black too. The sea, the sea anemones made out of toilet tubes. And here's some of the styrofoam coral, which was a big hit and a favorite. Some more of these 
hanging fish here. But the different views and perspectives are beautiful. It's amazing. Because it's so three-dimensional as it is with the black lights on, but then you put those glasses on. And it's really amazing. Here's around here. That should be through the coral. These are hanging. A lot of the fish are hanging from ceilings. From the ceiling. There's really a lot to see. The kids say they haven't seen when they see it, they're like, oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. Um, we also have, which I really wished I had made more of, but different circumstances affected that. Um, but this is some sharks. Um, it's just silhouettes, and they're swimming on the, on the ceiling here. I only had a chance to have the kids make three of them and my fifth graders drew them on giant butcher paper. And then we cut them out and put them on the ceilings. There's the view here of my sea urchins. Those are cool with the spikes, with the barbecue skewer, skewers painted. And next you'll see what it looks like um, with the lights on. And again, this was elementary kids that created this in a public school art room. Florida. This was the entrance door as you enter the uh, Under the Sea Adventure. And this is with the lights on. And I'm going to come over and try to show you the span, the view of the room. and then back over to the entrance. So this is a, a whole sweep to the door right here. Now I'm gonna show you on this side. I'm gonna go slow and I'll walk around the center from this view. Oops, I'm actually in this area behind my desk. And behind my desk, what I did was the kindergartners made these paper plate, plates that were folded in half and made into cones. And this is like the seaweed where the turtles hang out back here. After they hatch, they come and find protection. And this is the center, so I'll walk around the center here. These are the different large corals at the bottom. The center is supposed to be like a, cor a giant coral reef. And this red coral that you see in the middle here with the starfish on the bottom, 
that's made out of popsicle sticks and then the blue coral and then the coral on the top of this all the styrofoam coral show this view here It's hard to pick my favorites. I do like the way the styrofoam corals came out, and I like the way the popsicle stick corals, which is supposed to be fan corals, came out. Those are interesting. I love the sea urchins. This side wall is a lot of kids' favorites, too, right here. This came out really cool down here. And then I'm going to come behind me to this back wall. Here's another side wall with different kinds of fish. And the fish were made after realistic creatures of the sea. We studied the fish and then we tried to mimic it using the colors that we were limited to because of the fluorescent lights. And there is the large fan coral with the seahorses. I love that area too. That came out beautiful. And actually the coral that's down the bottom in front of the pool noodles to the right, that looks beautiful with the black lights off. It's gorgeous. And here's some things from the ceiling. And the, and the string doesn't even show once the black lights are off or on and the other lights are turned off. And this is just regular yellow paper on this seaweed. And when you turn the lights off, it kind of shows blue gray. You can see how some of them we named and labeled and then it got too uh, busy hanging. So we just kind of skipped it and just did as much as we could, hung as much as we could quickly as we could. And I'll show you this view of the coral reef here. And those are little sea urchins. The toilet tissue tubes are supposed to be sea urchins. Oh, no, no, those are sea anemones. That's right. Yeah, the sea anemones. And then the, these are the sea urchins right here, these spikes red sea urchins and those are gorgeous. I love those. And I'll come around and show you the octopus. And there he is. And here's the overall, whoops, overall view here.